The National Farmers Organization is holding meetings throughout the heartland of agriculture. They're being called meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. Here's one of the key moments. At one of these meetings being held all the way from Vermont to Colorado and from North Dakota to Kentucky. Devon Woodland, president of the NFO. How many of you will do more than you've been doing in the effort to correct the injustice? Those of you that will stand up. Do you mean it? At another point, Woodland speaks about the challenge in what's being called the transition in agriculture. We must reverse the trend that's taking place. That trend, you cannot avoid it. You're going to cause it to develop as you would have it develop, or others are going to cause it to develop as they would have it. But I can guarantee you that 10 years from today, you're not going to be looking at the same agriculture. A transition will take place. And I plead with you to involve yourselves in that and cause it to focus on the type of rural America that we cherish, we love, we want to preserve. And Woodland defines the issue. What's the number one issue? The number one issue, we haven't got a credit crisis. We got a price crisis. A price crisis, that's what we have got. And people, when you deal with that issue, then you can deal with all the others. But until you deal with that price issue, the others will plague you forever and take everyone else with you. I'll tell you what will cause you to leave the farm. Debt. You don't have a choice. Debt will cause you to migrate. It will cause you to leave. Let's hear it again, the commitment being made at these cash flow meetings when President Devon Woodland of the NFO asks the people to stand if they want to do more. How many of you will do more than you've been doing in the effort to correct the injustice? Those of you that will stand up. Do you mean it? At the meetings for action to cash flow agriculture, the specific prices farmers must have as a bare minimum, are read off to the crowd. Three and a quarter corn, 750 soybeans, five and a quarter milo, 450 wheat, three dollar barley, two dollar oats, fourteen dollar sunflowers, fifty seven dollar hogs, seventy dollar cattle, sixty dollar cow cows, eighty dollar feeders, and thirteen fifty milk. These are the prices farmers and ranchers are going after in the marketplace with stronger bargaining power. At a recent one of the meetings, which are being held throughout August and early September, Jack Cruz talked with Devon Woodland, president of the NFO. Devon, uh, your the comments on the meeting today, your thoughts. If people are ready, we'll give them that leadership and present programs to them that will give them the ability to uh, begin to cash flow their farm. There's a lot of plans being tossed out now. We look at the uh, farm bill as one plan. It won't work, as Senator Exxon said. It won't produce what we need. Uh, we see uh, the farm credit system now is coming out with a plan that uh, says uh, sell your farm to us and we'll let you rent it back. Uh, that's not a solution. Uh, we talk about uh, getting more credit to farmers. That's not a solution. The only solution is what we have talked about, and uh, it's difficult to sa tell the same story in a new way so people will understand it, but that's what we have to do. It's Devon Woodland, president of National Farmers. I've got Ed Groff with me. Now, Ed's a chief assistant to the president of NFO. Ed, what was your uh, sum up to what you thought about the meeting? Anyone at this meeting followed those uh, instructions and uh, what our people were saying, they must have thought this had to be the best meeting that they have ever attended. Now, that's why I was able to get forceful when I got up there, because there was nothing left out. I'm concerned that farmers sometimes don't grasp what we're saying, but I think these fellows at the head table, the director of those departments, did a tremendous job today. I think it was a great meeting. Do you believe uh, that from this point, 
that we will see a stronger NFO here in Nebraska. Oh, we'll see a stronger NFO not only in Nebraska, but in all the other states, because we're getting calls now from all of the states where we've held the meetings and the states that haven't had meetings want meetings like this. And Jack, if you turn around and look at those certificates of support and a pile of membership agreements that were signed here today, I think that's proof of the pudding, isn't it? It certainly is. There was one filling them out, uh, filling an agreement out in front of me. Jack Cruz and Lincoln, Devaney Sports Complex. What do the people think, those people who are attending the meetings for action of the NFO? Meetings for action to cash flow agriculture. They're being held all the way from Vermont to Colorado and from North Dakota to Kentucky. Jack Cruz of Here's Info was at the Lincoln, Nebraska meeting, and he talked to some of the people. Well, I just ran into a gentleman from Kansas, below Kansas, Pete Lorenz. Pete, uh, what's your impression of this meeting to cash flow agriculture to this point? The producers that are here are pretty enthusiastic. They like what they hear, and it, it, the early indications I've gotten is it's given them some hope that maybe they can turn this farm price situation around. Uh, you got a young gentleman here. Who have you got with you here, Pete? This is John Yost. John Yost from where, Kansas? Oh, from the Heston area. Heston? What's your impression? Oh, I'm just... Uh, feeling blue that we haven't got the true story out to the American farmer. I think we're past due on it. Do you think this meeting will help us uh, unite a little? Well, in the framework we're operating in right today, there's if this doesn't get us united, this kind of meeting in the framework we're operating in the markets will never get united. This is Chuck Van Boning. Chuck, uh, you're state president here. Uh, what are your impressions of the crowd? Attitude of the people is real good. The uh, Non-members that I've talked to uh, have never heard to all the facts put together like this, and I think it's gold. I talked uh, this afternoon to the wife organization, to the uh, farmers union. They're all here and all, all accepting it. The meeting has just concluded, and I have a, a Lutheran minister, Pastor Deardorff, with me. Uh, Pastor, where is your congregation from? Carbine, and they have a small church in Jansen okay. as well. I would say that we are 100% associated with agriculture, both the community and the churches. The meeting today, your, your thoughts, uh, comments? I think that uh, the meeting really showed the depth of feeling that is there. I think it shows the frustration of the farmers. I think the church is just beginning to understand the depth of that frustration and is beginning to be uh, willing to show their support in any way they can. Do you believe that we can uh, effectively, together, obtain some just prices? From what I've seen today, it certainly changed my opinion on a collective bargaining, and it certainly seems the way that the farmer should be going. Jack Cruz of Here's Info talked to a number of people attending the Lincoln, Nebraska meeting for action to cash flow agriculture. Thus far in these meetings, which are scheduled all the way from Vermont to the Rockies, and from the Dakotas to Kentucky, the attendance has reached about 13,000. And at the time we compiled this report, plans were underway for New York, Georgia, and California meetings. And now we hear Steve Jansen, young hog producer from Anamosa, Iowa. He gives a live testimonial at the cash flow meeting at Marshalltown. Last year was a good example of how we could lock in the hogs with a forward contracting and that's what I did. I had missed the opportunity the year before to lock them in for profit and uh, then last year in 84 starting through January through August I contacted NFO offices and uh, at somewhere in the early part of that year they they started contracting smaller groups of hogs is what exactly what I needed and they contracted them for uh, for you at the price that you asked them to and at that time starting in January through August I had contracted out started assuming that I could contract 25 percent of my hogs and in the next 10 months I just stair-stepped it up uh, 50 cents per hundred weight each time that I sold one contract and uh, it ended up that the prices came up well enough on the contracts that instead I contracted almost 75 percent of those hogs and uh, in that 10-month period, I averaged over, over the uh, actual market price of that year, probably about four or five dollars per hundred. So that was uh, one thing that looked really good to the lenders when we went to the office to, to talk about our amount that we borrowed. 
and uh, the system was there, and it worked for us. Steve Jensen of Anamosa, Iowa. Butch Schilling of Morrison County, Minnesota, is one of the best-known workers in the vineyards of farm bargaining power. He rounded up busloads of his fellow NFO members to attend the big crisis action rally at Ames, Iowa last spring. And he helped put together the Oatana cash flow meeting. Don Mack of Here's Info talked to Butch Schilling on the phone about the positive results of the big meeting at Oatana, where they filled the all-seasons auditorium at the fairgrounds. What kind of results did you get uh, after the uh, Ames rally and meeting? We put on 23 dairy producers in uh, our county and the two surrounding counties, which comes to a total of over 12 million pounds yearly production. Since the Oatana meeting here in Minnesota, we, we signed up one uh, beef producer on the way home. We've had calls daily of people that want to talk to us, want us to explain more in detail. What about a uh, follow-up meeting? We're having our, but our first meeting here is in uh, the 21st. It's our election meeting, and we're looking forward to a turnout of somewhere in excess of 100 people on the county level. And I think that's great. The farmers have had enough. They're, they're ready to fight. What is the overall attitude, you think, uh, not only amongst farmers, but uh, rural Main Street business? In talking to the bankers that were with us, they said, this is great. They just, they just hope we can, uh, we can do it. They, they were really shocked at what we have to offer as far as our, uh, our guaranteed checks, our insured checks, the trust setups and everything. That just, uh, I guess we as, as an organization and as members that have been involved all these years are probably a little at fault and not... Uh, took for granted that everyone and our neighbors included knew what we're really all about. I mean, the two loads of milk we've put on since uh, in the last six weeks is just the tip of the iceberg because the people are calling up here. What would you say was the main reaction from the prospective members? One signed up on the bus on the way home. You know, that was great. And uh, I haven't been able to contact them all, but the word is out. Uh, I've got probably half a dozen verbal commitments over the telephone to get over there and answer a few questions and we're going to put the production on. What kind of response uh, did you get from the news media at your Oatana meeting? Oh, great. He broadcasted uh, back during the day every half hour. This is what's caused the reaction. We had a, a school teacher come out to Gene Young when he was swatting yesterday and say, look, I want to join. He says, I know I don't have that much production, but he says, you people are putting a price on this and that's what it's all about. He says, we're going with you. Uh, Butch, do you have specifically any other advice to uh, NFO members specifically? You bet, Don. Um, as NFO members, we, are, we have to be proud of our organization because we are the only organization that is going to save the family farmer. Order your T-shirts to the organization, your hats. Get your driveway signs up. What we have done here in, in Morrison County is we, uh, one of the members' wives hand prints the name in under in that little space on the bottom of the farmer's name, and we do put two signs back-to-back -back so, the far, so the people going down the road can see this coming and going. And this is where we're getting a lot of our calls coming from. So people be proud of our organization. There's no other way. And uh, farmer helping farmer, that's how we're going to do it. But Schilling didn't leave off after he had this conversation with Don Mack. He signed up four more dairy shippers for NFO bargaining, the 40 cow herds on average, with an additional total of one and a half million pounds of milk through NFO. An important fact about follow-up meetings, they're being scheduled in all commodities to give further information and help to prospective members so that farm bargaining power can be strengthened. We've presented your county informational tape for NFO meetings in September, compiled and edited by Don Mack, director of the broadcast division. I'm Phil Allen, and that for this month is something to think about.